Hey, yo, everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video review, and today we're going to be doing Batwing, issue number seven. Take a look at this comic cover right here. Let me just say, the comic covers for this week are really good, and Batwing is a prime example. Uh, Detective Comics had a good cover, so did Swamp Thing, Action Comics, a lot of good covers this week. Now, when we last left off on Batwing, Massacre, the main villain of Batwing, is going to Gotham. Why? To hunt down members of the kingdom. Now, for those of you that haven't been reading Batwing, let me give you a little history lesson. There is the main villain, Massacre, and he's hunting down members of a superhero team called the Kingdom. And the Kingdom were basically, think of it this way, the Justice League of Africa that basically were primarily stationed in the fictional uh, Democratic Republic of Congo. So, the Kingdom kind of did something and they they protected people they helped out people but they did something and it's caused massacre to go around and start killing them and batwing's trying to prevent this from happening um and in this issue we find out exactly why massacre wants the kingdom to be killed see this issue is kind of a setup but also a information filler for us readers, because throughout the Batwing series, we've been learning that something happened in the kingdom. Something went down, something bad, something to spark uh, Massacre to want to go around and do all these bad things. And we learn in this issue what it was. We also get to see a team up between Batwing and the rest of the Bat family. Batman, Batgirl, Robin, and Nightwing. So, will Batwing along with the rest of the Bat family, be able to make it to the other members of the kingdom. The I believe it's called Staff and uh, Nightwing, or not Nightwing, uh, Razor Wind. Or will, unfortunately, Massacre, like he's been doing, get to them first. And, more importantly, who's working with Massacre? Well, you're just going to have to read and see. Let's jump into uh, the good, the bad, and whether or not you should get it. Good. Uh, excellent filler issue with information. We get, first of all, we get to learn all the kingdom's uh, characters and names and, for the most part, their abilities. And we get a lot of their backstory. I really liked the kingdom, the concept of the kingdom. I thought it was an interesting concept, a good concept. It's something that they could have rolled with. But we get some backstory in here. We get some really interesting character development in here. Um, not, there's not a lot of action except for towards the end. I mean, in the back story and in the flashbacks we get some action but um it's very it still is so packed with information that it helps carry the comic and i do like that um uh, a really good interesting stuff that went down with the kingdom especially their falling out and what they did it's a big secret but they did something uh which is pretty serious uh the art in this is done by dustin N uh, Nugayan and oh, sorry if I butcher your name I apologize uh, but this is the same artist that's done stuff on Batman Private Casebook uh, Batman um, Heart of Hush uh, Batman Hush Money uh, Streets of Gotham um, also has done some Superman Batman stuff with Torment uh, and I think he has really good art for what it is um, and saying that it's not supposed to be realistic art, it's more of a cartoony art, and it looks really nice. It has kind of a surreal look to it, if I could find any way to describe it. So the art was good in this, too. Um, I like the fact that this was a good team-up comic. And the majority of it is a Batwing calling the shots. And in no way, shape, or form is Batwing ever casted a shadow upon him by any of these other established characters. But at the same time, each of these established characters uh, contribute to the issue. Uh, actually, if anything, Batman contributes the least. He kind of just, he says a few things and that's it. But, you know, Batgirl, Nightwing, Robin, all of them contribute to this case. And um, never do these characters cast a shadow on Batwing, which is good. And like I said, it's a good setup, and I'm really eager to see what happens in the next issue. Uh, bad. None, really. Uh, Batwing... Issue number seven is a really, really, really good issue. Um, I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I can't say if it's a 5-star comic, uh, but 
uh, because five star comics need to blow me away. Uh, this was just really, really good. Um, and Batwing is really kind of that uh, comic that you didn't see coming, but it came out of nowhere, and it was good. And this is really good. If you guys have not been reading Batwing, I recommend you pick up the previous six issues and then pick up this issue and just enjoy it because it's really good. Um, don't be surprised as this is my Andrew Carter pick of the week. Um, although I've read a few other comics, I'm not all the way through all my comics this week, but uh, there's some contenders too. So uh, Batwing. Issue number seven, really good. Um, I'm going to end this review here. This is Andrew saying peace out for now.